the Land Journal Constitution. I am in a Walmart parking lot here in Valdosta, uh, along with a bunch of Hurricane Irma evacuees uh, in their trailers, which you can see here, just absolutely lining the outside of the Walmart. And we actually have one of the evacuees here, so I'm going to take it on over to her. Hello, man. Hi, how are you? Doing well. Um, could you uh, tell us who you are and, and where you're coming from? My name is Jeannie Ibarra. I am from Brazil, originally from Brazil, but we live in Sarasota. And uh, here we are trying to, to escape that crazy storm. And how many are you? Who do you have with you? We are seven people, my husband, my kids. We have a grandchild that's four months old and my father, he's 75 years old. So we did decide to leave Sarasota even before we knew the Irma, she took another direction. Because, you know, when you have a senior with you, they can run or they can do anything. So that was the best choice we did on Thursday. Makes sense. And, um, hello. Um, and so that's a lot of age ranges. When did you leave? We left home on Thursday and my kids, they stayed there to put wood on the windows and help another neighbors to get safe. And so yesterday when we saw very much it took another direction, we said, you know, leave right away, leave everybody, everything behind and come up to Georgia. We we're supposed to go to Tallahassee yesterday, but now we're here in Valdosta waiting to see the news where Irma will go, if we'll take the east or the west, so then we can decide where to go. And um, so st still unsure where you're going to go. Um, originally, you were going to go to Tallahassee, but it seems like that's not viable now. Yes, yeah, we, we're here waiting, but we're not going to wait too long. Which is just, you know, to see which direction we're going to take. And then I want to tell everybody, be safe, be patient on the traffic, don't get angry. Everybody is uh, under stress, everybody's nervous, we don't know what's gonna happen. So be calm, be prepared, don't answer your phone, don't be on Facebook, you know, videotaping everything. You have two hands, those hands have to be, um, you know, driving, a gift for somebody else to, you know, an update too. Tell everybody how I-75 is, if it's too many traffic. There's people helping everybody. And uh, when you get to town, call the Chamber of Commerce or call the police department. Yeah. They're all here to help us. The church are helping us, the fairground, they have a space. Like us, we have two uh, model homes. Yeah, so it, we have we have two uh, campers here that, that y'all brought from uh, Manatee County um, in, uh, in in Sarasota. So uh, you said seven of you, is that right? Yeah, we're seven, and I wanna say something too. Señoras, señores, no tomen eso a la ligera. Es algo muy peligroso. Sálganse de sus casas, sálganse con su familia, no tengan miedo si tienen o no tienen papeles. Ellos no se están importando con eso. Lo que ahorita lo que importa es tener a toda la gente segura, ya sea americano, brasilero, como soy yo, mexicano, hondureño, no importa su nacionalidad. Usted como yo tenemos el mismo derecho de estar a salvo y el país, United States, nos brinda eso. Então, gente, sai de casa, saiam daí da parte de, de Sarasota, de Tampa, vamos embora para o norte e sempre vendo as notícias, o que, que a gente pode fazer. As igrejas estão ajudando, os Chamber of Commerce, os Fairgrounds estão ajudando, não tenham medo, não vão ser parados porque tenham ou não papéis, se somos ou não legais no país. Nós temos o direito, qualquer americano, de estar a salvos. Não tenham medo. So, so here you got three languages uh, for the price of one, uh, the Atlanta Journal Constitution. Uh, one very impressive, two, thank you very much. Can, can you show us w what you brought uh, with you? Yeah, well, the, now everybody is there, they're afraid, but we bought uh, water, we have uh, food, we, we're, we're set, we're good. And, and and you said it before, but um, with the storm coming to Valdosta, that probably has you pretty concerned, right? Yes, yeah, we are concerned. We're just waiting for the time to see which direction we're gonna take. Uh, I have families in New York, but I don't wanna go too far away. So if we can skip here and wait in Tallahassee or maybe going to Panama City or Maybe we're going to Jacksonville or Savannah. We're just waiting four or five hours to see which direction we're going to take. So waiting five hours and then yes. reassessing from yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. um, and so um, 
Are you in an apartment, a condo, a, a house? No, we have a house in Sarasota. Yes, and, we have a self house. And, and what did you do to prepare it when you left? Well, I left home with my father and with my grandchild, my daughter-in-law, my husband. But my kids, they stayed there until yesterday. They put a wood on the, on the windows, on the door to try to keep safe. But you know, if it's going to be flood, there's nothing to do. It's just pray. But you know, the better thing we do have, our families are with us. We have the model home. If something happened with the house, at least we have a place to live. Absolutely. And um, what do you do in Sarasota? Well, we're a circus performer. We have our own show, Fantasia Circus, and you know, that's what we do. We bring happiness to the people, and now we are here, and we're going to try to help somebody if they need. We brought some cables on the motorhome. We have a camping tent if somebody needs a place to sleep, you know. That's, try our best to help the people. That's very kind. And for people who maybe aren't aware, there's a pretty robust circus community in Florida. Um, yes. So it that is not at all out of place, um, especially in the um, larger Tampa Bay area yeah. um, for, for folks to have their own shows. So just a bit of context <laughs> there, uh, but still not every day that you run in uh, to a, a ringmaster who speaks three languages. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm going to uh, keep on uh, walking for, sure. for uh, a little bit and just to get people a sense, but man, Thank you Please so much. stay safe. Be and safe. Uh, I, I might double back to ask you a couple of questions and get the spelling sure. of your name if that's all right. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Okay, be safe. So there you have it. We just spoke to a, a Sarasota, Florida resident um, who uh, has herself and uh, you know her family seven um, packed up into two motorhomes. Um, I'm going to give you a sense of the parking lot here. Um, in Walmart, pardon the uh, car noises. So it's it's pretty much as as far as you can see, uh, campers lining the outer perimeter uh, of this Walmart. There's about to be a truck here, so heads up on the audio. Doing all right. I mean, you see folks are taking their boats. So those are. Uh, some of the very first things to be affected. I think we got ourselves a dog in here somewhere. Hey there. Hey guy. Um, and again, we are just off I-75, um, but here's a sense of a Walmart parking lot in Valdosta right now. Just crushed on a Saturday afternoon. Um, anyway but certainly um, especially so come on come on mr shadow all right um i looked both ways gang up I, I promise and because i did i'm not gonna get run over they were nice enough to let me through uh you can't we're from new jersey so again um just walking through to give you a sense um, campers of all sizes, um, people bikes up in the back, uh, trailing trucks and such. Again, if you can imagine an entire Walmart parking lot, the entire perimeter is lined of these vehicles. And um, I'm telling you, almost all of them are Florida tags. Um, and if you look at the counties, it's uh, counties actually all over Florida. Um, uh, born and raised in Florida. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I've seen nearly all the six, seven counties represented since being here in Valdosta. Um, in general, folks are, they are not happy that they evacuated their homes only to find that the storm is coming to Valdosta, frankly. Um, Valdosta area should be seeing tropical storm winds starting, um, I just spoke with the county clerk. Um, the, the tropical force conditions should be starting about tomorrow afternoon was the best guesstimate I got. Um, if you all have any questions, I mean, I'm not sitting at my computer, um, you know, looking at uh, all the resources, but I can try and answer your questions if you have them. I can certainly give you a feel for what it's like here by the state line in Valdosta. Um, a lot of nervousness, as you can imagine. Um, and it's not just Floridians. See, there's a South Dakota one, I'm not sure. Uh, they may have been down in Florida, um, or you could just be taking advantage of the lovely Walmart parking lot. Folks who are 
debris wrapping. Temple Terrace? I, yeah, I know right where it is. Yeah, yeah I, I, right on the river, so we're yeah. hoping. Yeah, w when did you head on uh, up here? Uh, well, we camped all night because yeah. it took us we a while. We left at 5 a.m. this morning. 5 a.m. this morning. We thought we were leaving last night around 8. <laughs> yeah, uh, it didn't work out like that. No, but... it did not. And so uh, this looks like a, a mattress we're rewrapping? Yes. Or? Yeah. We got such a good deal, we had to take it with us. <laughs> you know, you can't... Uh, and pull it tighter. You, you can't let a hurricane ruin a good deal. We certainly no. wouldn't uh, want well, that. Not only that, but it, if it if it got in and this thing got soaked, it would have been ruined. So. Have you seen that little thing on Facebook where there's a little house and it's for free and for sale items in the town you're in or wherever yeah, you're looking? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, this is, a, I mean, supposedly, I mean, I won't go by the roommates. Situated, you know, on the Tampa. they either have to come this way from the from the Caribbean or yeah, from the, the um, you know from the um, uh, you know South America side, mm -hmm. or they have to do like Charlie did. Right. Only Charlie missed us and went up through Orlando. This one's climbing right up, kind of like Donna, except Donna took a, a right turn and went through Orlando. So. Yeah. Anyway, um, so it's rare. Tampa doesn't get hit that often. And, um, and, and it may still not. Yeah. <laughs> and do you know uh, how long you'll be in Valdosta for? Um, oh. Yeah, we're going to leave as soon as we get this. As soon as we get oh, this. Oh, well, maybe we'll eat. Someone gave us a coupon oh, yeah. for Yahoo's at 15%. Oh, off. yeah, the Wahoo's. Yeah, they were handing out, um, oh, I think, oh, to, Wahoo's, yeah, right. to a lot of the folks. Uh, and who um, and, and we, when we went to the uh, Georgia. Visitor center and the state line, yeah. Yeah, best visitor center on the planet. They we really them. like that visitor center. They gave out free hot dogs, chips, and um, drinks, drinks. To, to the evacuees. I mean, it, it was very heartwarming. It's cool. very nice of them. Do, do you know where you're heading? Yeah, actually, we're we're going to be uh, uh, we're going to Florence, Alabama. Ow. We have a friend there. I'm sorry, I hit you in the. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, for the, for the world to see uh, abuse, abuse. Pardon, pardon the bonking. Um, so okay, we're, so what's in Florence, Alabama? At a point, no. Uh, so what now? Friends. friends. We have friends in Florence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have friends in Florence. Uh, excellent. Um, well, well, thank you all so much. Uh, yeah. Best of luck. Be safe. Could I get your thank names? You. Yeah, Kevin and Karen Dennis. Dennis. Okay. Like D the first name. Okay, and K A R E N. Yes. Okay. K E V I N. Okay. Well, well. Best of luck, y'all. Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh, right. Thanks, man. Safe, safe nice travels. to talk to you. Likewise. Thank right. you. Take care. Uh, so just heard from some, uh, some from some Tampanians um, about their uh, travels. Uh, luckily, they have uh, somewhere to go. Um, that's not the case for a lot of people, and it seems like uh, they have the means to go. Um, which again. That option. Um, we have a, a jersey plate here. Again, just giving you a sense of where we are in a, uh, a Walmart parking lot here in Valdosta, Georgia. Um, about a dozen miles from uh, the state line. Um, just RVs 
lining the whole perimeter of this very, very large uh, parking lot. In the distance there, the gas pumps are also slammed at the Sam's Club, which is a tough thing to say five times fast. Um, and it, it just pardon the wind and the uh, the vehicle noise. Um, that's just what it is right now. A lot of both of those uh, in Valdosta. Um, I've been to a couple shelters here. Um, you can hear some of those people's stories on a. AJC and myajc.com. Um, folks from all over. Uh, a woman with her three-year-old son from Darien, Georgia. Um, real, real coastal Georgia. Um, you know, who who drove over and, and stayed at the the same church that she stayed at for Hurricane Matthew a year ago, um, which uh, I was in Brunswick for, and, and can tell you was um, quite a nasty uh, storm. I'm sure a lot of you remember. Uh, diesel exhaust fluid. Uh, looks like that's what it was. Um, again, just given a sense of everything here. Um, so, it, 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 it seems to be pretty steady. Um, I'm trying to make sure folks know that the storm is coming for Valdosta. When I was at the shelters, um, a lot of folks were voicing their frustration uh, that, you know, here I am, I uh, escaped the storm in Florida, uh, only to be chased down by the storm uh, here in Valdosta, many, many miles away. Um, so, but it, it is, they're thinking it's invariably better to be um, here as opposed to, well, frankly, at home, which is a, a very scary thought. Um, again, part of the win. Um, I think this is uh, just about um, all, all there is to see. Again, just, yeah, I, I would say, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 campers uh, here in the uh, parking lot at this Walmart in Valdosta, Georgia, uh, right off I-75. Uh, a pretty visible and, and uh, well advertised Walmart um, that if you were heading north um, you would think hey this isn't a bad spot um, so again just one last look lines and lines of campers and uh, again this has been Ben Brash of the Atlanta Journal Constitution um, I absolutely encourage you all to stay tuned to uh, this Facebook page and a lot of our other Facebook pages where we have um, much of our excellent uh, content being posted to, um, or check on the website, um, ajcmyajc.com, um, or on our app. Um, thank you all for watching, and uh, please be safe. Thank you.